Welcome, Gronyards. Please always make sure to like and comment on these videos. It really helps us with the Google Analytics and what can I say, it's important these days. Thanks a bunch. Welcome to the Crimean War. We are actually playing as an Anglo-centric force here. I don't believe we have any sort of reinforcements going forward, but obviously our goal is to try and take on the enemy approaching us, or I should say defend against the enemy approaching us. As a matter of fact, this foe outnumbers us two to one, and I'm hoping that we can use our elite British units here to put an end to them. Easier said than done, I know, but we're gonna try anyway. Now, what I like to do in this game is essentially what I do in my Graviteam Tactics playthroughs, and that is I like to come back once the actual battle and the fighting begins. Uh, this way you guys don't have to sit through a bunch of movement, etc. So, if you like that idea, let me know in the comments down below. In any case, we are going to get started and take a look at those beautiful opening moves of our men moving into position. But, of course, that Russian force off in the distance is going to be a serious problem. And you can see, I wasn't kidding when I said they outnumber us two to one. So, fingers crossed, folks, we will return when the fighting begins. Now, I think it's important to mention um, that what I'm planning to do, and I'm showing you guys here before we actually get into the proper combat, is I am using this wall, hopefully, as a defensive position. In fact, I'm going to try to move my men up to this section of the wall, although it could be, um, or it is easy, I should say, to be very specific, for us to get sunk in to this area um, because of all the farmland. So... You know, start, our men start getting pretty muddy out here, and it can cause problems going forward. So I do want to keep that in mind. Um, but as long as we keep it in mind, we should be fine. I'm also going to try and bring an additional infantry unit over here. Oh, sorry, messed that one up. Here we go. Not too shabby. All right, guys, as always, we'll return when the fighting begins. But I think the goal, again, is just to move this force right here, or at a minimum, keep them here and prepare to defend against a much larger Russian force. Well, I think whether we like it or not, the enemy is actually going to make contact with us a lot sooner than expected. Now, I'm trying to go ahead and get a unit up to take a shot at him. I think we might be able to, as a matter of fact. Maybe not this turn. Um, I'm going to do my best, though. I am doing yep as you can see we should be able to get a shot at him but i believe next turn unless we're turned away no we are definitely turned in that direction i just don't think we can fire in the same turn unfortunately what we will do though is take this opportunity to fill in the gaps there and keep on moving forward with the rest of these units and one thing i could do is of course get that artillery um up close and personal against that unit but what i prefer to do is keep them back here behind the line, essentially. Did not like that movement at all. Hold on a second. No. I think I need to move the cavalry first to be able to use the infantry separately. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. And now I'm simply going to move the infantry into that position. Let's see how that works out for us. I'm curious to see what that cavalry is going to do. I could have charged with my cavalry, but it just didn't seem like the right approach. And sure enough, they did a frontal charge against us. Um, I do believe they're the superior cavalry unit, though. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Um, we might need to let them just go ahead and tear off some chunks from our cav. Now, I want to be clear. We're doing 75% victory here. So we need to defeat 75% of the enemy army um, to secure a victory. Not exactly an easy task. I think we're going to have to send in this cavalry to assist our current cavalry. I do like our positioning, though. Um, let's see. Yeah, literally all I need to do with that guy is just basically move him forward. Um, there we go. We might hit our own men, but we'll hit theirs as well. 
good old Edward Longshanks quote for, <laughs> I don't think it's an actual quote by Edward Longshanks, um, but at least in the film it is. So let's go ahead. You know what I might actually do? And I think this is um, a good old fashioned Napoleonic tactic. And that is this, um, we might just keep our artillery entirely separate, like put it over here and not even really worry about it. For now, I'm gonna push it up just to maximize firepower, but I think we're gonna at a minimum have to get one of these units to act as a reserve. Let's see how it plays out. Hold on, men. We're coming to save you. At least I hope so. Clearly our cavalry can't get there this turn. But I'm hoping that our infantry can do something about the situation. Let him have it. And we broke both units. We just said forget both cavalry units. Smash them entirely with that volley. Uh, I really was hoping that our men would take measured shots, but... I can't blame them for that. So at least we sort of, sort of like trading a queen for a queen, got rid of their cab there, got rid of our own. Now we're setting up that defensive position and this is what I am really hoping works out. Um, I will keep this cavalry unit over here just as sort of overwatch, um, keep an eye on them. Same with this infantry unit. We might just start pushing them up, sort of keep an eye on the enemy. And I'm gonna see if we can start taking shots already and look at that guys, thank the queen or nope the king pardon me at this time period 12 pound field howitzers are going to help us out without them i wouldn't be able to take a force double our size it just wouldn't happen um let's go ahead and take a shot with this one too that's two shots there and then i'm going to move um this unit I actually wanted to move him to the front line not sure why that went to the rear line hold on a sec front line huh that's strange could be a little bug still going on we'll figure it out uh, but in any case we might need to move them to a different position in fact knowing that that's going to happen we could try to extend the line so that's what we're going to do we're going to start sending this guy that way oh no i don't want to move all of you damn it just one just one one of you there we go okay that's what i'm talking about uh, and the rest of these guys, we're staying right here. Right there, guys, behind the stone wall. Let's hope that it works. Waiting that massive Russian force. Now, I'm not sure how many cavalry they took. That's going to be, of course, um, an issue. There we go. Beautiful frontal hit there with the howitzers. Another one, and I'm, I hope we are really smashing those Russians. We have taken away almost all their cohesion, so any future shots should absolutely hit them. Or damage them, I should say. Another thing I might do with this unit, just bring them out over here, sort of increase uh, that defensive position. But again, we've got to right away start firing those howitzers. If they're in range, these cannons have to be firing. It's that simple. We'll simply move him next turn. We need to put him in this position to get him over here. Let's see if we can spot them out of range. Not quite, but guys, as you can see, we are prepared. As soon as those guys are in range, we are going to be getting some devastating shots on them. So in the meantime, just going to move this infantry over here and try to get them into that position. I don't really want to change much else. Let the enemy make their own mistakes, of course. That's the idea here. Good shot, howitzers. Let's get another one in there. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Quite a few of them running in terror. That's what I like to see. sort of terrifying realization is that if we lose half our troops or no no it's 75% that's right um but again we have 
many fewer troops to lose than the enemy. In other words, he could break us a lot faster. Get started here. Howitzer. I think it's time for our elites to make themselves known. And that's actually going to be our foot guard unit. Um, but nope, they're not quite in range. Howitzer. There we go. It's starting to come together, folks. At least I hope it is. Um, still not close enough to put a shot on them with our infantry. But obviously that's the goal. Okay, here we go. Yes, sir. Now, I'm not sure how much this positioning is going to actually help us, but um, I am hoping that this setup will stop the Russian army in their tracks. I think it will. Um, as you can see, that unit is almost totally destroyed. Maybe one more volley and he'll be finished. Uh, and other Russian units are getting closer and closer to the front line here at the farmhouse. The actual name of this map, for those of you wondering, is Tartar Junction. Uh, I believe it's a new map, and I thought for the Crimean War, this would be a perfect setting. It really doesn't get much better than this. All right. They're really concentrating on just that frontal assault, keeping most of their army back there. Perhaps just testing the water, seeing just how good we are before they dedicate themselves to destroying us. So here we go. One shot there. Almost certain that that should be enough to destroy him. And another thing I'm going to do is turn and fire at them with our elite foot guards. With this second howitzer, I'm going to fire at that approaching unit. Really want to start putting the pain on right now. I'm going to do the same with this unit. Although I don't think we can fire this turn. Uh, we are going to try and fire at that unit, assuming he's still alive. If not, we'll be prepared for the advancing units over here. And I think the rest of these guys can kind of just stay put. We could try and get on that. Um, there's an there's a, a little hill here. We could try to get to it, but I think it's a bit of a, a risky push. I'm going to put the cavalry... I didn't want to put them all the way on top of the hill, but you know what? Now that I see them up there, I kind of like it. Um, put them up there. They can see everything that's going on. And if the enemy gets too close, we'll simply fall back. All right, here we go. How it says. Ooh, they are close. Right on the other side of the stone wall there. Good shot, boys. Send them running. You can see plenty of enemy dead right there in front of the stone wall. Those are the results we're trying to get. Now, two enemy units to deal with. Let's see if we can wrap them up as quickly as possible. Oh, see, I could possibly go for the flank attack over here. I don't know, folks. There are some opportunities here. First things first, though. I'm shocked we can't get that volley. Um, but it's because we're actually in a depression here. Sort of a depressed, like, literally a depression, see? There's, an in, there's sort of an incline over here. We're on the lower portion, it seems. So maybe just fall back. Yeah, I'm going to fall back. I don't like to do that, but I think it's the safest thing at the moment just to get those guys out of harm's way. And let's do some counter-battery fire. There's an enemy battery right there. We'll also save a shot there for the infantry. And we can't hit them this turn, but next turn, it'll be nothing but hugs and kisses from all of our frontline troops here against the enemy. Uh, let's get another shot, another volley there. And again, risky, but I'm going for it. Um, and that is a charge downhill. Oh, we might not be able to do it this turn. Oh, no, that's not right. See, if we can get there this turn, we should be able to get there this turn, but maybe not. That might be the best we could do. There we go. I'm about to say. All right, folks, this is going to be a brutal one here. Let's hope everything goes as planned. I could have still used one turn to move them up there on the hill. Silly of me not to do that. Frontal hit. That's okay. It's the first time our guys have, our, our standard infantry have taken a hit. I think we can handle it. Nice. As you can see, plenty of those Russians being shot through. Unfortunately, we're not going to be getting into our charge position uh, since they have moved forward this turn. 
Oh no, there we go. Back charge. The glorious cavalry. We really have to thank them for that. That was just phenomenal. Um, and more melee. And that unit is completely destroyed, guys. That's how in this game, what I love about this game, the Dragoons came through. Um, what I love about this game, it's so similar to chess in that respect. Where if you can anticipate an enemy's move properly, you can absolutely devastate them. Um, and in that situation, the enemy actually went a, tur um, went a tile ahead, which meant that our flank charge was even more of a flank charge. So absolutely devastating, of course. And now we are going to follow up, folks. I would love to fire again at that battery, but I think the most important thing to do now is to just eliminate the enemy units as quickly as we can. The reason being... We really have... We don't have the numbers advantage, of course, so we really have to be quite quick here. Okay, what I, I really want to do is get on top of that hill. Not sure why that's not working as intended. And just in case... Yep, we're going to open fire over here. And as for the rest of our men, I think we're simply going to stay put. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we've already moved with him. Fair enough. Here we go, folks. Yes, sir. Devastating right there. I wish there was like a canister shot option where you, you could fire canister shot, but it would take up two orders uh, just to do an extra amount of devastating damage to the enemy. And look at that. They're getting a little bit overconfident here trying to get that artillery into position in front of us. We are going to have to do something about that, man. I don't like it one bit. All right. Let's go ahead and finish them off here. First things first. Fire. Fire. I'm almost certain that that's enough to take them out. Um, but in the meantime, we're just going to order shots over here. Yeah, definitely want to fall back with our cavalry. So we're going to fall back with the cab there. See, we can try to get on that tile. It's just kind of tough. There we go. And from up here, this nice uphill advantage... I'm going to see if we can't use it against the enemy. We're going to push this unit forward as well. Um, so I'm trying to get two units up on that hill, if at all possible. Nice! They got us too, though. I'm not going to lie. They absolutely uh, got a nice shot on our artillery. I don't think it's going to matter, though. As um, long as we can hold on to the positions we have now. Nice! Nice! Yeah, their, their artillery is in trouble. But remember, we have to defeat 75% of their army uh, to be able to wrap this up in our favor. I think that's going to be really, really quite a challenge. There we go. What? Devastating! Now, they did retreat as well. They were falling back as well, so that might be why that did so much damage. But man, that was pretty bad for them. There we go. Get our men up on the hill. And we're absolutely going to fire down on those retreating Russians. See if we can't break them. I know I'm kind of leaving our, our predetermined positions, but I think in this situation it's acceptable. Boom. And I'm also going to move this infantry unit guys closer to their artillery over there. I think we can potentially overrun it. Here we go. Very nice. And again, they're falling back. So, yeah, they had... Oh, nope. We broke them. We broke them. Uh, they had no, no um, desire whatsoever to remain in that position. And here we go. I think we're about to wrap up the artillery, too. This should be a significant portion of the enemy's army. 
We've wiped out a bunch of them. In fact, they lay directly at our feet here. But whether or not we've defeated them completely, I don't think so. Let's go ahead, get those howitzers working. If not for our artillerymen, I don't think we would have gotten this far in the fight. It's going to move up the infantry, get another volley against that cavalry unit. And with our guys here up here on the hill, simply going to face them, fire. Face and fire. Hopefully English strategy wins today. Oh, this is perfect. They are just getting to the bottom of the hill too, and I don't even think they get a shot this turn. Oh no, they do, they do. Because I was about to say that could be a flanking shot if they were coming from over here, but we're gonna be okay. We're still gonna take some damage, but we're gonna be okay. Fire boys. Nice. Wonderful. I think almost immediately, we just need to go ahead and finish them off. Fire and fire. I have no doubt as well that the enemy's first move will be moving that unit as well. Over here. Open fire. Open fire. I am doing it, like, I'm, I'm kind of doing overkill, um, to be honest with you. But the way I figure it, Wiping out that unit gets rid of all of the enemy frontal units here. Overkill it is. All right, here we go. As you guys have noticed, we've also moved our force forward, but I think it was kind of necessary uh, to grab that hill position. And since we're doing fairly well against the enemy, I figured we've got to take the fight to them. Look at that. They should break right there pretty quickly, but they have plenty of units left. And it's not looking like we're getting close to that 75% mark, although I hope we are. And look at that, another unit broken. Thank goodness for the elite troops of His Majesty's Army. It's just doing an excellent job right now against the enemy in terms of um, shot for shot. And I should mention the British infantry, their line infantry, are sort of um, expert marksmen right from the get-go. Now, these guys have not gotten a chance to fire this turn, so let's give them the first volley against the enemy um, cavalry. That second volley against enemy cavalry as well. And maybe the third. <clears throat> Pardon me. There we go. I'm hoping he's in range, but yeah, I was kind of suspecting he's not. Let's push these cannons forward. Can't move and fire at the same turn, of course. Um, but you can try, no. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna push them forward um, just to be a little bit closer to the enemy. What I really want to do is just face this guy. Hmm. Okay, I think he's bogged down. He is bogged down. That's one of the dangers out here of getting into a wooded area or a field, is you can certainly get bogged down pretty easily. Come on, come on now. Oh yeah. Run in terror. That's what I'm talking about. See, now I feel like we clearly have the advantage. We're still bogged down, though. That's kind of frustrating. Um, oh, nice. We can still reposition. All right, wonderful, guys. Let's open fire. This opens up an entirely new wave of fire for us. Even though we can't turn this turn, I am getting into that position. I'm also going to start sending my cavalry over here. Might be um, time for them to do a good old-fashioned charge. And 
you know what, why not? Um, I'm going to start sending my infantry to try and go for a flanking attack. I think these guys, though, I love this position up on the hill. I'm probably just going to stay put here. Although that army doesn't seem like they're going to be coming to the hill. Um, so you know what, I'll take the westernmost unit and start moving inwards as well. By the way, anybody that has gotten this far in the video, um, give me a three cheers in the comments down below. Uh, we really are trying to grow this channel, and uh, thanks to this game, um, newer games, and of course the help of Griffin Johnson, even just sharing that one time, um, it really is helping us. So if you enjoy Fire and Maneuver and you want to see more, like that video, comment down below, share with your friends, all that fun stuff. Um, the more that people share, the more that people um, disperse these videos amongst the public, uh, the faster that we can grow this channel. So there we go, just a frontal shot, and of course we're gonna go for a artillery shot. Why do you think I turned it last turn? I mean, people might accuse me of being cheap uh, for going for all these artillery shots, but the truth is, right, if we're facing a superior force, what choice do we have? Um, you know, they absolutely have more men than we do. They can take position faster than we can. I think we're just going to have to um, kind of settle here with them and uh, go for broke, man. That's simple. I'm getting off the hill. Yeah, forget it. We're, we're going straight for the woods. Nope, I don't want you to turn that way. Now that might be... No, we're good. I was going to say it might be a bug. No, it's just me being lazy. That's what it is, folks. And with the cavalry, I don't think they're going to have to overrun that unit, but I'm simply going to put them in position. Let him have it, boys. More sheep for the slaughter approaching. Look at that. And at some point here, the Russians have to accept that the battle is ours. That the field is ours, I should say. That there's no chance that they have of taking this field today. So we're going to try to come in diagonally there with that unit. Yeah, I think moving off the hill was the right turn. In fact, it looks like if we just if we were to draw a line here, we're sort of, uh, it's like a seesaw effect. We're seesawing this way now. First we seesawed a bit this way, now we're seesawing this way to completely overrun and envelop the enemy. Let's see, can you get a shot from here? Not quite. And he is bogged down. And I'm not sure why that does that. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Just as long as they get the general idea. All right. They want to force us to reach out with our artillery. That's exactly what we're going to do. Let's get closer with those arty units, folks. Um, this guy, is he bogged down? No, I think he's okay, and I'm just going to simply push him up to the road. Not the greatest defensive position, I'll admit, but um, at least he'll be able to provide defense to these units over here. And maybe with our cavalry, since that unit is all alone there, yeah, I'm going to start bringing the... Nah, I don't want to have him as a reserve unit. So we're going to start bringing the cavalry over here. I think that's a fair choice. Not sure it's the right one. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I'm not sure it's the wise choice. Let him have it, boys. This might end up being a charge, because we ordered our men to move over here. So I wonder how that plays out. Oh, yeah, they're getting close very quickly. They converge with those forces very quickly. So I'm hoping that's the last group we need to destroy. And if we finish these guys off, victory is ours. Maybe these two units or three units. I'm hoping that at that point we are at the 75% mark. Oh boy, I don't like that. Their cavalry is awfully close to us and could absolutely go for a charge here. So that's interesting. Um, what happened over here, we were supposed to move into that tile, but they moved there. So I guess it's just sort of a standstill. Um, I'm wondering that if, the, as the game gets closer to release, if that will turn into like, um, you know, a close combat situation. But here's what I'm going to do. I can get an easy flanking shot on the enemy. One... 
two. Just in case those first few volleys don't work. And of course, I'm concerned about the cavalry. So we will turn. We could have changed our formation here, but I think it's a little too late to do that. And with this artillery, we're going to have to focus on their infantry. There's no way we can hit the cavalry at this angle. And actually, nope. Did, sorry, faced the wrong way. I'm going to just move him up to the road. This way, the cavalry can't just get an easy charge through. He's going to have to change direction a bit. For the king, boys. Great volley there. Come on. Right in that guts. There we go. And they actually fell back. We're still going to be able to get some volleys on them, but they are trying to break contact. I think they actually got out of the way of our fire. Well played. Sometimes retreat is the best option. You'd be surprised. So it looks like we have taken a direct charge. Yep, we've taken a direct charge with their cavalry. Uh, that's a rough, uh, a rough one. I'm not going to fire at their cav. What I am going to do, I'm going to fire at their infantry over here. Now, if he breaks through, um, I want to be very clear. I, I think that he could uh, essentially rout or fold our entire army. So my goal is to destroy his before that even occurs. I know, I know. Easier said than done. I agree. We're putting the cavalry into play, that's for sure. Boom! Oh, dude, that's just the first hit, of course. Trying to dislodge uh, that Russian force. And there we go. Yeah, destroyed them with the flanking shot. That's kind of what I expected. What I don't, what I didn't expect is that cavalry unit rushing us on the side. And what we could do, um, I think we will still hold for one turn. We could go and meet them with our own cavalry, but I'd like to avoid that if I can. So there we go. They continue to fire. You know what? Our guys are as good as dead. No, wait a minute. They're holding on. I was going to say, maybe let's just fire, do the old Longshanks approach. Um, but I think what I'm going to do instead. Let's go ahead and start shooting. Try and knock this guy out of the fight. And, of course, we're still advancing with the rest of our units. Okay, not too bad. And we still have an extra shot here. Yeah, there's not really anybody to aim at. What we'll do is turn this way, and next turn, uh, we will be aiming over in that direction. Let's go. Just hold on a little while longer, men. We just need them to hold out against that, that cavalry for at least a turn or two. Nice hit there, and I'm hoping this finishes them off. Yes, there we go. Beautiful side hit, man. You've got to love those side hits. And it's still, it, it continues. Yeah, they're absolutely um, outgunning our men here. And it may seem crazy, but yeah, I'm going to open fire with the artillery. Now, that's another cavalry unit approaching. I believe it's cavalry, right? Um, in any case, we're going to meet it. Look at that. Two volleys, man. It's okay. He'll simply face... And we'll come in for the attack. This is assuming they're still there, of course, um, at the conclusion of these turns. Here we go. Oh, yeah. See, I wasn't expecting that. That could, that could get into the way of our plans. And there we go. It's down to just that enemy cavalry unit. Let's go, boys. Now, 
Now look at that. That is a flank attack that we could go for with our cavalry. Although he's turning towards the enemy, facing the enemy. And I'm kind of glad he is because I believe this means we could come back and actually help to defend. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's open fire. It's going to be the most important thing. Yep. Go for the flank charge. And over here, we're moving in with our foot guards. That's, of course, one of our elite units. Let's get those foot guards in. Not much else I want to do. Um, if I can get a shot, then I will. I'll take it. But um, we really pretty much need this to work. That That's what we need. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go, folks. Beautiful. That first shot got rid of their cavalry. Not a threat anymore, although they did face us. We still got the side charge, th thank goodness. Um, but that cavalry unit could be in trouble. There's no doubt about it. Beautiful side hit there. Again, just breaking their cohesion right now, that's all. Nice. So almost immediately we want to go for that side hit. That... I'm hoping is enough to break them. Uh, we're even going to move forward with an additional line infantry. Open fire. Open fire. Open fire. Let's go for it. Yes, sir. There we go. Off with you. Beautiful. Another one down. That has to be a victory there. Damn, man. They are tough. I was going to say, it has to be a victory. We're still fighting. Um, Give him hell. Of course, we're going to end up hitting our own boys here, but you know what? Sometimes you've got to make a sacrifice. I'll also start engaging their artillery right there. Again, we are definitely firing on our own men, but uh, it is what it is. What can I say? Anything for victory at this point. Minus my soul. That's never... That's not something I'm willing to sell. And I don't even believe in soul. So, not something I'm willing to trade. There we go. Nice. Still got the side hit there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to be it for them. That is a victory, my friends. Well, three cheers for the king. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all have a great day, and I can't wait for Fire and Maneuver to come out. Make sure to check out Steam for more information on Fire and Maneuver, and check out the Armchair Historians channel here on YouTube. Ciao, my friends. Or should I say, cheerio.